In this video, I am going to share how my class during synchronous meeting used the polls and breakout rooms which can be accessed within the Google Meet application. This video has an actual demonstration of the activities we had using these features of Google Meet. In this example, my students and I are already in Google Meet and we are ready to use the polls and breakout rooms. The activity symbol can be found at the upper right side of the Google Meet screen. Just simply click the activity symbol to see those features that we can use. First is breakout rooms. It can be used to divide the class into small groups to encourage discussion. Next is polls. This is used to find out what our students think about a topic. Finally, Q&A. When turned on, this will allow students to post questions. The next part of this video will show a demo on how our class used the polls and breakout rooms. As you noticed, I am now here in the polls. The question that I would like to ask from you is... To prevent cyber attacks, do you think it's important to know who are the perpetrators? So I am now going to launch this. I would like you to vote uh, either yes or no. I am giving you one minute uh, to vote for your answer in this question. Is the instruction clear? Okay, so where can you find this question? You can go to the upper right side of your screen. And then you will see their activity symbol and then select polls. Right now, I can see that there's already one student who have voted yes. So how about the rest? Some devices might not have this feature because it might not be supported yet. We'll just get the general thought of the class. Let's just wait for 30 more seconds. I am going to show to you the results of this poll. Okay. The result of the poll is 15 votes for yes, and we don't have any votes for no. So I think everyone agrees that this lesson for this afternoon is important uh, in order for us to prevent uh, cyber attacks. Okay, so with that being said, I am now going to divide the class into four groups. Okay. So each group will be given a simple topic that I would like you to talk among yourselves. When we create the breakout rooms, you will be directed to smaller calls or to smaller groups, wherein you will be joined by your group mates. So with your group mates, again, you are expected to turn on your mic microphone and then share with one another the idea that you have in the topic that I have given you. And then after 15 minutes, I will be requiring you to go back to this main call. I'll be visiting your small groups once in a while to check if you are really doing the activity. Is the instruction clear? I'll select the breakout rooms here. And earlier, I told you that I am going to create four groups. Um, however, I will just select three rooms here because there are some students who have unsupported devices those who have unsupported devices will be retained to this main call those who will be retained in this main call you are going to represent the fourth group so that you still have an activity this afternoon so i am going to shuffle it for the breakout room number one i am going to rename this to who is a hacker Okay, so that is the name of your group, and that is also the topic that is given to you. Next is for breakout room number two, the topic that will be given to you is what are the types of hackers? Next, the third breakout room, um, the name of this group, which is the topic that will be assigned to you is what are the common hacking techniques? And then for the last group, you are going to talk about hacktivism. Don't worry if you don't get it because later I am going to write it in the chat feature. I will also meet you in the main room. 
Later, you're going to select one representative from your group to share to the whole class what you have talked about. So to help you in understanding the topic assigned to you, I actually posted a material in Google Classroom on your classwork page um, so that it will serve as your guide during this activity. Okay, so before I create the rooms, do you have any questions? Okay, are you excited? Okay, let's start. Okay, so I'm now going to create the rooms. Those who are retained in this main room, your topic is hacktivism. So I am now expecting that you're going to turn on your microphone and share with your classmate what you know about hacktivism. You, is it clear, everyone? Okay, so those who do not have microphone, you have the chat feature so that you can talk with your classmates. I am going to visit other rooms, so I'll get back to you later, okay? Is the instruction clear? Okay. I'll get back to you later. I'll go to other rooms first. Oh, good afternoon again. So for this group, the name of your group is Types of Hackers. Therefore, that is also the topic that you're going to share to your classmate later. I'll go to other rooms first. For this group, the topic that you are assigned to talk about is called Common Hacking Techniques. Actually, in the material that was uploaded in the Google Classroom, um, I think there are two um, common hacking techniques that were mentioned. So you can elaborate uh, those um, techniques and then share with your classmates here. You, you do brainstorming and then later, after 15 minutes, we are going to go back to the main room so that you can share what you have discussed here to your classmates. So I will just visit other rooms to check their progress, okay? I am going to fast forward this part where I make rounds to each group to check their progress. I am going to stop the video here because at this point, my students are going to share the result of their brainstorming. I hope you got an idea on how we can use the polls and breakout rooms in Google Meet when we are having our synchronous meetings. If this video is helpful, please show your appreciation by liking and writing comments. Please consider subscribing to my channel too. Here are my other videos that might also be of help. Thank you.